We humans sometimes have painful feelings or destructive impulses that cause difficulties in our lives. This is often the reason a person decides to seek help. Let's look at some examples. Joe frequently blows up at his wife Maureen over little things. A fight erupts and it escalates until he is yelling at her. She becomes frightened and ends up crying. Joe then feels terrible about himself. How could I have done such a thing? I don't want to hurt Maureen. I wasn't myself. Joe judges himself harshly for this behavior, but that doesn't stop it from happening the next time. Sometimes Meg finds herself having a difficult day. She gets into a little trouble at work or her beloved dog gets sick. Then she sits down and eats an entire cake or a box of cookies. She doesn't even think about what she is doing at the time, but right afterwards she feels horrible. I've been trying to lose weight and this just makes matters worse. I feel so ashamed. What was going on that I stuffed myself like that? Many people like Joe and Meg are troubled by emotions or impulses that don't make sense to them. They try to handle these irrational feelings by fighting with their impulses or criticizing their emotions. This might work for a little while, but in the long run, it is ineffective. This approach presents a new way of understanding how the mind works. It is based on a powerful form of psychotherapy called Internal Family Systems Therapy, IFS. When you comprehend the makeup of a human psyche from an IFS perspective, it opens up a whole new way of dealing with difficult feelings, which has proven to be highly successful with a wide range of people. These problematic emotions and desires really come from parts of us, sometimes called subpersonalities. These parts, as they are known in IFS, are like little people existing inside of us, each with its unique feelings, motivations, and view of the world. For example, Joe has an angry part that blows up at Maureen for a very specific reason. When they get into fights, she sometimes taunts Joe in a shaming way. This triggers a young child part of Joe, who was humiliated as a kid, and that part starts to relive the childhood shame all over again. Then his angry part comes to the rescue. It gets enraged at Maureen as a way of protecting Joe from feeling the shame. If Joe took some time to get to know his angry part and the ashamed child it protects, he could shift his whole dynamics so he wouldn't get enraged in these situations. When Meg's boss criticizes her, she becomes very afraid for her job even though there really isn't any chance of her losing it. This fear is much more intense than is warranted because her boss behavior reminds Meg of some scary events from her childhood. This current day event triggers a frightened child part in Meg that is holding on to a childhood fear from many years ago. Meg's overeater part becomes concerned that Meg will be flooded by this fear. It causes her to stuff herself with food for comfort and to keep her from feeling the child's fear. Joe's angry part and Meg's overeater are each trying to protect them from the pain of their child parts. These aren't just irrational feelings or out of control impulses. They are like little persons inside of them who are doing the best they can to cope with discomfort and pain. When we understand this, we see that it doesn't help to try to fight with these parts or suppress them or judge them. They are just trying to help and protect us in their own, sometimes distorted ways. In fact, if we get into battles with our parts, they will fight back. And if we try to disown them, they will feel even more lonely and worthless than they already do. However, if we treat them like little beings inside of us who have our best interests at heart, we become open to a brand new way of relating to our feelings. We can get to know them, understand what drives them and actually befriend them. When this happens, these parts will change, so they don't have to overeat or flip out in rage anymore. They can relax and act sensibly. We can also nurture and heal those wounded kid parts that are hidden behind the rage or overeating. When they feel accepted and loved by us, they can feel whole and good about themselves. And this will change our self-esteem in a profound way.